Hey, how's it going guys? This is Dylan from PSAPikachu.com. Sadly, I recorded this video and all of the audio was lost when exporting it. Uh, it's really a shame because it had my initial reaction to seeing all the cool cards that I had stored away. But I re-recorded it and uh, kind of just reviewed what I had opened. So hopefully you guys still enjoy and I'll talk to you soon. hate to say that my last video was completely corrupted and none of the audio worked. So I'm actually filming this with not a fresh reaction. It's kind of upsetting, but I'm not going to let it ruin this video. So I kind of just wanted to go over a binder collection that I came across that I had stored away with plans to actually never take out of storage unless it was a financial emergency to me. Uh, these were just cards from my collection that I accumulated over a couple years span. So to start off the collection I have some just a handful of EXs from the EX era that range in condition from near mint to very lightly played or lightly played. Uh, some are unfortunate. But we have Entei, Raikou, I think I got all three here if I'm not mistaken, boom. So these are from Team Magma versus Team Aqua. Really awesome set, very underrated, I believe. For a long time it was. It's nice to see that in celebrations they had a Groudon Hollow be recognized. Kind of weird that it wasn't the AXs, but um, I will take it. I, I enjoyed pulling that in my last video. So uh, Suicune definitely being my favorite of the three dogs. Legendary dogs, excuse me. Raichu from EX Sandstorm, love uh, Raichu just because it's from the Pikachu line and the Electro Ball that he's sitting in is amazing. Great artwork. Love the 3D effect on it. Um, the Rayquaza rookie card from EX Dragon. The very first Rayquaza EX from uh, the era. This is actually my most favorite EX hands down. Such a beautiful card. Mew from Holland Phantoms. I wish I opened enough when I was younger to even say I pulled this, but um, if I could, I'd buy 100 copies of this thing. It's just, um, I love the swirl of Mew's tail, and overall the hollow is just beautiful. I think I have the trio here. Oh my gosh, I do beautiful cards. Can I get this laid out on camera and not mess it up? Uh, what, fire red leaf green trio and near mint condition on i think venusaur and blastoise and charizard sadly is like an lp almost almost mp beautiful cards love that era now we get into the gold stars yeah they're they're pricey i definitely wanted to get them graded but uh, i kind of missed the the bulk submissions and now it is near impossible to get that at a good price right now but I guess some of these might be worth it uh, to, to pay the premium uh, grading cost. Who knows? So uh, I, I talked over that entire thing. That was Alakazam from, I think, Crystal Guardians. Groudon from Delta Species, if I'm not, not mistaken. I have, yep, I doubled up on this one. Let's see, do I have Kyogre? Yep, Kyogre to go with the Groudon. I almost have a near complete... Uh, Gold Star set, which honestly I'm kind of sad I didn't finish. Uh, I, I tend to do that. I get really close and then I just don't do it 100%. But love these cards. They got super expensive near the end of me trying to hunt for them. And it's hard to keep up with. Registeels, don't, don't care much about the Regis. Regice is probably one of the only Gold Stars, I, I think it is, the only Gold Star I've ever actually graded. This being just a loose copy camera does not want to focus but I love the hollow pattern on it it looks like it's raining or something very cool mudkip beautiful starter uh, probably one of the more iconic gold stars sadly I could tell that this one is not very good in condition probably one of the only MP cards in uh, in my pile Raikou oh gosh do I have the trio of course I don't hang on just just pretend just pretend I do there we go Raikou Suicune, oh my gosh, beautiful card, and Entei, the three dogs from Unseen Forces. If you guys want to Google some Pokemon history that you might not know about, this set notoriously had, like, I think an entire print run of Gold Stars stolen from the factory. 
So um, that's maybe just a rumor. I don't know if it was a for sure thing, but there does seem to be a lot more of these three legendary dogs in existence due to that. Um, oddly enough, I guess I'll show it next to it so you guys don't think I'm lying. I have two Entei gold stars. I think these are all near mint or very light played. Continuing, oh my gosh, I hit my microphone. Hopefully that doesn't sound horrible. Continuing the gold stars, Flareon, I believe I have, oh my gosh, Vaporeon, another amazing artwork for the era. And Jolteon, let me not ruin the entire video. <laughs> Loved completing uh, gold star sets that had trios or doubles that, that themed to each other. So the Evolutions for, I think, Power Keepers? Beautiful cards, favorite has to be Vaporeon from that set. I think Jolteon was super cheap for a while, so I might have, might have more than one. Yep, I have two, I think. Latias, Gold Star from EX Deoxys. Looks to be maybe another MP or LP card. So lightly played or moderately played. Looks a kind of beat in the corners, but love Latias. Kind of more of a Latias person than Latios. And probably my second or third favorite Gold Star of all of them is Salabi, if you can't tell. <laughs> Beautiful card, shout out Cool Trainer Ryan. He would not let me buy any of them, but it's okay, I still appreciate what you do for the hobby and your collection. <laughs> Just saying. Wow, we're not done with Gold Stars somehow. I'm surprised that I have that many. So, Mew Gold Star, beautiful card. Actually, much different than the others how the Mew itself reflects almost like a shining card from Neo, and it doesn't actually have a real hollow pattern on, on the red there. But beautiful card. Yep, have two of them. Uh, if I can get that in focus, kind of. Uh, what, what's after that? Okay, here we go. PSA Pikachu's Gold Star Pikachu Collection. I wish I had more than these. If only I had as many as I did the Celebes. But this is an expensive card, Holland Phantoms. I do own the booster box for that, uh, for that set. Uh, I got extremely lucky with timing, and it just kind of fell into place where I was able to buy it before prices exploded. And we have most people's favorite, Gold Star Charizard. I think it's cool, very iconic, only because I see it everywhere, but I don't, uh, you know, it's not something I really chased after because I wanted it, but chased after just to finish the set. But regardless, very iconic card. Love uh, love anything from this era. And the holy grail of the EX era and gold stars. Gold star Rayquaza from EX Deoxys. Gold star Rayquaza right there. The hollow pattern. I What I had learned recently, I guess, is from EX Deoxys, if you pay attention to maybe the text on the card, it might not be completely in focus and that's actually not the camera. They had a print run where the text did not come up as sharp from the press or the printer from the factory. And then they had an additional print run where it was a cleaner copy. I only had these in storage for eight or so months. But because I wanted to start up the channel, I thought it would be cool to share it with you guys. On to Wizards of the Coast cards. Dark Tyranitar, well, I think we're getting into some Neo. A lot of people's favorite Pokemon, Dark Tyranitar. Never really understood the evolution line, but love Tyranitar, always reminded me of Reptar from, oh my God, brain dead. <laughs> what is the name of that show? I have no idea. The one with babies, he did crawl around, the babies. Uh, oh my God, there's no way, I'm Googling this. You're kidding. Nickelodeon, babies, dill pickle. What is his name? You're kidding, dude, I shouldn't have. Rugrats, there we go. All right, we, we're, we settled this. So, I don't even know what I was going on about. Yeah, it looks like Reptar from uh, Rugrats. On to the next card, Celebi. <laughs> So, uh, obviously, uh, I think this is my second, it has to be, no, this is for sure my first. It's hard, it's a tie between Lugia and Celebi for me, for legendaries that are my favorite. Many more Celebi cards than Lugia. Um, I seem to have an attraction to the blue cards in their hollow foil, so love the Suicune from Neo Revelation. I think if I did this right, I should have the entire lineup of the dogs once again. Which, this is the third one we've seen. 
We saw EXs, gold stars, and here we go. Bringing it back even further to its original. Uh, these might be the first cards of the characters from Neo Revelation. I don't think it came any earlier than that. Shining Magikarp. The shining, first ever shining card, really. And Shining Gyarados, which I might have. I know I have a couple of these. Um, love, love the Shining Magikarp. And am I right? Yep, and Shining Gyarados. So, very cool if I can get that out of the way. Love those cards. Classic from Wizards of the Coast. Nearly done with possibly all of my Neo Era cards that I had saved and stored away. So we have uh, multiple Ho-Ohs. Yes, we have two Ho-Ohs from Neo Revelation. These I remember being extremely clean. I almost sent them out to get graded a couple times and it just didn't occur. So there it is. Neo Genesis Lugia. I do remember that this is in near mint condition. There's just a very awkward and unfortunate print line uh, going down the card and I remember the bag being extremely clean. Blaine's Charizard from Gym Challenge. Uh, very awesome, not first edition, but still it's Charizard. I don't need to say any more than that. Very fitting card for me. PSA Pikachu's Legendary Collection Pika. Um, yeah, cool card. I don't have very many Legendary Collections. I ended up selling a lot of the ones that I collected over the years. Gyarados from, I believe that's Sky Ridge, just a reverse. Cool card, I think. The only reason it's really in this set that I stored away is because it was minty and possibly gradable, and that will maintain its value over time. Crystal Reverse Golem. I didn't know I had this. Uh, wow, I, I don't even think I saw it when I filmed this the first time, so that's different. Um, Crystal Golem, Sky Ridge, beautiful card. And we get into the E-Series Crystals. I think I only have like two. So I got Kabutops and what was the other one? Kingdra, okay, that was Crobat. So Kabutops and Kingdra Crystal cards. I think they're both LP, almost borderline MP. Hard to find these cards in general, let alone in amazing condition. And if you did, most likely the people who owned them were grading them. Umbreon from, what is that, Aquapolis? I believe it's Aquapolis. A lot of people love this card, and I could see why. Beautiful card. Definitely my favorite of the Evolutions through all the generations. And final card from this pile. Oh my gosh. Again, another shout out to Zach, Gem Mint Pokemon. Gave me a lot of inspiration to chase after E Series cards, seeing his collection just as I am doing right now. He has like an entire binder of just Expedition Mew hollows, reverses and a bunch of other crazy cards that it would take my life savings to purchase. First edition Wizards of the Coast, any cards that I happen to have that were minty, I threw in here as a long-term investment to hold on to. Uh, Misty's Gyarados, one of the gym sets, I think Challenge. Rocket Scyther, I thought it was really odd with these that the border, oh, uh, you know, I don't know. It almost looks like the border of the Pokemon window is skinnier than, a, uh, the usual cards so thought that was weird it was unique though uh, i would think i had a mewtwo at one point i don't know if it's in this pile i don't actually remember seeing it in the first time i filmed this so uh a neo genesis Togetic first edition actually first edition neos really really good <laughs> hopefully i have more of those okay steelix uh really bland hollow you can't even tell that it's a holographic Looks like most cards today. And then boom, we go right into confetti, explosion, fireworks, uh, holographic pattern. Love the scissor. What set is this from? Neo Discovery. Um, I know there's a lot of scissor fans out there. Personally, I like Scyther. Brock's Nine Tails. Beautiful card. I remember, oh my gosh. Wow, I'm looking at this now. Uh, I really wish PSA would start grading again so I can send some cards. Fox Nine Tails first edition, and we're getting to the last few first edition cards. Moltres from Fossil, and I believe this is my infamous trio that I always like looking at in my binder of Articuno first edition Fossil. I'm trying to get that on screen without it falling over. Love those cards. The final pile from my storage box that I had 
stocked all these cards away in is of course first edition and shadowless base set hollows some of the most iconic cards in all of oh my god trading cards just the hobby in general so starting off with a really nice shadowless first edition machamp kind of common but this one was nearly gradable i think i held back on even sending this just because it was like uh could be an eight chancy this would be a really clean card if if the card was clean <laughs> don't quote me on that but uh you know what i mean like if, if it was good condition this card is beautiful love shadowless so much i don't know why unlimited became a thing and they put a shadow under the borders it's just more appealing to me magneton i don't care about this card <laughs> but it was shadowless and it's classic anyway polyrath love it very um wow yeah someday someday i'm gonna grade these and we'll review that together in the future i almost thought that was charizard nine tails shadowless card i totally spoiled the fact that i do indeed have a shadowless charizard that i stored away hitmonchan another really clean card if uh Oh yeah, no, this one's pretty decent. I think that's just on the card saver. Beautiful card, classic. Clefairy, like Chansey more. sorry, let's skip you. Alakazam, beautiful. Oh my god, I love the purple on this hollow. Uh, I forget the term for this. Is it caught? It's not Cosmo, it's, it's something. Galaxy or whatever the name of the pattern is. And to finish it off, this entire video, the most iconic card in the entire hobby minus first edition shadowless base set charizard this one sadly is moderately played front is beautiful actually it's just the back clearly from being slid and, and, and played on like game mats or whatever tables yeah so that's about it for this video i might as well leave this here while i end it off Thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me, what is your favorite card in all of the hobby? And uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram at PSA Pikachu. I'm exhausted, filmed this thing like 20 times, and my voice is shot. I just dropped the Charizard, don't worry, that's not hurt. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>